Hello friends. Today we are going to see how to pass the JSON with the table view. Okay, pass the JSON and show the data to table view. Okay. So create a project in Xcode. Name it uh, table view part one. Obviously, we gonna create part two also. Create now. Uh, let's delete it. Delete one. Get the table view controller. From and uh, it's not a initial controller, so make it initial. From this, it's a is initial view controller. Please click it. You can see over here there's an arrow that means it's an initial controller. Now we need to create a controller so we can integrate with it. Controller, but before that, I want to create a prefix over here. Select the project on the right hand side. You can select a prefix of it. GL. I select G. Good to learning is a my prefix. Okay. Then create a new file and create a yes. Give a name of the class. And go next and save. Now give a name to this controller from this from here. GLMail controller. Okay. Now how to parse it? So take a Swift file which help us to make a request to the web service okay this class will help us to make a web service name it gl api manager okay then create structure i will create structure for that uh, function it should be a static because we are going to call it uh, not just structure we can also create a simple function because later we go to call it with a single data pattern get URL string and completion okay escape is, is must in Swift 3 so here is what we are going to call it as a it's a closure okay so it's a dictionary dictionary any of type name and string i'll show you why this is a dictionary and string okay now create a url request url request calling url parameter I have to give the name over here or URL request URL URL session dot shared dot data task. So we we'll use this one is URL and one is URL request. So we use the URL request over here. So URL request and data response an error dot resume this is the must method that you have to use to resume our task okay so our task is to download the json from the particular api okay this is the url we are going to give here here okay so now First, we'll check the if it, there is error or not. If error does not equal to nil, means there is an error. Then we just return. That message error dot localized description. Else we just gonna pass try json serialize. 
friends this is a must uh, must use class that you have to use to pass the json from the data what we have gone got from the url session okay so json object is the data pass the data reading method is a mutable container and and please remember friends uh, while you are type casting from other other type is that which kind of data is coming from this service so we are playing an array of dictionaries so it must be an array of dictionary array of dictionary so it's an array of dictionary so this method is throwing something so we have to write try ahead of it do and catch catch and print if an error if any error what we got is json so here completion handler we are returning this json uh, and error is nil okay but json is of type dictionary over here but we are passing array of dictionary so we have to change it to array of dictionary okay now uh, what is the problem with this okay it's a equal to sign our half of the task is done now just we have to create a singleton pattern to call this method okay so our in whole application just at least only one single instance is being allocated and through which we are uh, calling this api get and post and uploading images and all that common method okay so here static let and shared shared similar to this uh, url session and shared method a uh, shared property so we are calling this property so our task is done okay now let's go move to the controller and first of all we are creating one method um, common method over here to call that api so I give it name uh, WS call uh, web service move get movies list. So from here G, uh, GL API manager dot shared. So only single instance, only one time when is it is first time used. Then get URL. URL is uh, let this give it's a result and it's an error let first check error does not equal to nil then again over here return and print that error and if not then print and we are result so now what is the URL okay this is my URL but our all thing is going the final thing that is uh, just we need to call this we will surely get some error in a console that we have not go pass through the ATS process ATS is something that we have to call on it allows only HTTP as request but what we are calling over here is HTTP request which is not secure right so in our application there has to be an uh, info police should contain that kind of uh, security uh, uh, ATS message at uh, okay we are allowing this url to load the content okay so what we are uh, look at here that uh, resource could not be loaded because ats app transport security policy requires the use of secure connections so okay to resolve this problem we have to go to property list info list call the application
application transport security which is a dictionary and we have to add one more child key as a allow arbitrary loads means it's allow all the urls if you want to uh, filter it filter some urls you can add uh, like this allow exceptional domains and uh, you have to write um, that domain name and all so let's keep it and uh, go ahead let's see that uh, our api is going to call or not so after coming to this uh, what is going to be result okay this is calling go ahead there is no error let's go ahead okay json means there is no error and in the json there is we are getting 15 values over it means the it's a success value okay it will not get it and die. we are getting everything okay so now let's uh, minimize this thing again minimize means i want to um, compress the code again means i don't like to check the error over here and error here also so what will i do is i will create one enum oh call uh, it as a result okay result type create a case uh, we saw friends that uh, how to create an anum types in the previous video of uh, anums so uh, you can check below link uh, i have mentioned that uh, how where to use anums and you can see more much more uh, ks is the error which has contain string uh, okay one more thing cache and success and uh, which kind of data we want to share is area of dictionary so it's a array okay so you can see over here that in the cases we have uh, write the brackets and in which we have passed some data types so what is this this is called associative types so c so CSP types please forgive me friends that I am not good, very good in uh, writing spellings okay success and errors so where we are going to use it I compress all these thing into this single one method so here is giving an error so how can we result error is equal to dot result dot error so you can see over here friends that we can pass a, some value into some enum types so it is called an enum i have associated this value with this enum types okay so what is i'm associated associating is error message and in completion i'm just passing this result of type er that's it okay now in json I am passing something like um, I will not pass type this I have to pass some JSON values okay so I have to write like completion success and in the parameter array of dictionary okay A JSON but I have to forcefully cast because what is result is accepting is unforcefully things and what we are passing over here is uh, optional values so we have to either pass or forcefully it or we can use if let condition if there is a value uh, json is not failed from passing this value then we just you have to um, the, it will pass through means it will not go into on the brackets otherwise it will pass json and pass into the success part okay that's it we what we are going to do is over here it will not call 
two parameters it will only call two only one parameters that means switch cache means it's an n type so we have to use switch cache result at case is error if it's an error how to parse the message like message let and message so print like error and a message case of type success let json print the json okay both are giving the same result but it is much more clear okay let's see yeah console is full of data uh, we got many of the movies over here array of thing array of thing we just need to call it array of dictionaries okay so this array of dictionary array of dictionary dictionary we are going to use in our this table so that's what this part only we will see how to pass this uh, json what we got over here into table and how to modify the table how to create a custom table into storyboard and all that we are going to see in the next part so that's it for the, this part please don't forget to subscribe friends thank you